A certain um, place, there's like a, a place that I found where I'm not stressed anymore and where I take the time for each person in, in a different way. And it, it is a wonderful place that, uh, that has come into my life and that too. Well, what it is in the food, we do know scientifically. As a matter of fact, uh, Dr. Aziz uh, was explaining that to our group uh, this week. And we now understand that the neurons in the brain are actually fed by these type of sparked mm -hmm. food, the ionics, the electrical effect of it. Mm -hmm. And this protein in this food, remember, you all ask where protein comes from, it's raw living food. All life on this planet comes from the sun, and that's captured on a green leafy plant, and that's what we're talking about. Sprouts, green leafy plants, that's where the protein all comes from. When an animal gets protein, that's where they get the protein. We don't eat the animal, we go right to the source mm -hmm. of protein. Second, all plants have essential fatty acids. Like crazy people, we eat fish and think that's it. The fish get it from a plant, call it an algae. We go directly to the algae, we go directly to the green plant, and that feeds the brain. Your brain's structurally made of fat, so it's the proteins and fats that create a stable brain a healthy mind and it helps to retard and prevent disorders of the brain. Indeed and, ev indeed, and everything, and going back to the sprouts, I mean, the sprouts have everything that we need for cell growth and cell repair. Yeah. Vitamins, minerals, proteins, mm -hmm. fat. Yes, exactly. The water. Exactly. Carbohydrates. It and that's it consistently because I always told people, don't try to do everything at one time. When you're mm -hmm. coming from meat and potatoes, if you're interested right. in this lifestyle, don't try to do everything at one time because you'll sabotage your efforts. Yeah. By trying to do everything, you'll get back to ground zero. Won't yeah. do anything. Mm -hmm. But take steps. And then you find out that when you take those steps and you feel so good and uh, the improvements are actually seen, then you move on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But that's what you do, you know. So we, we want to bring people in, but we don't want... They're going to look at it totally bit different. They're going to want to have the real deal from from the living food and what can it do for them and how are they going to feel in three weeks they're going to feel so much better on living food that hopefully most of them are uh, convinced that this is something you can give people tools and support and love and they can heal themselves mm -hmm. and you know that you did it and you did it and i did it mm -hmm. and we've worked with hundreds of thousands of people that mm -hmm. have done it mm -hmm. so don't wait you know and so take your steps now so that you don't have to come at a point where it's desperation. And I was fortunate that mine was a preventive situation the way that I came into it. It was preventive and some people might say, well, you know, you can't really, you weren't at the brink of death or whatever, whatever, but isn't prevention, doesn't that have some significance? Oh, you bet it is. Time. So uh, I was happy that I did not have to be uh, at the brink of death in order to get the benefit and uh, it's just that but if people are they can come back well the I next always, 200 years <laughs> next 200 years <laughs> I always welcome people to the kingdom of living foods I live and raw where live is king raw is queen yeah. and I am a willing and loyal subject let me also say to you that the organic food movement is sustainable using genetically modified food Pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides not only kill us and kill the planet, but destroy the health and the future of us being independent, growing our own. So don't wait until you get sick.